It's the 19th century, and we have a revolution on our hands, an industrial revolution. Building on the new ideas and creativity of an earlier revolution, the scientific revolution, things really got going in 18th century England and then spread to the U.S. In the Industrial Revolution, people want to make things faster, better, and to make more money. The governments of England and the United States aren't regulating industry very much. That means investors and inventors are working together to try out any new invention they can think up. For example, James Watt recently improved a steam engine. Factories no longer need to be near a river or stream for a source of power. That means more factories everywhere. Steam engines are also being used in ships and trains. Goods are getting to people even faster. How about Henry Bessemer and his Bessemer process? It's a way to produce steel more effectively by using blasts of air to convert raw iron into steel. And Samuel Morse just invented the telegraph. This invention allows people to communicate long distance. Then there's Eli Whitney, inventor of the cotton gin, which allows one worker to clean as much cotton as 50 people working by hand. He also came up with the idea for interchangeable parts. Until recently, guns and other products were made one at a time. Because each one was slightly different, replacement parts had to be custom made. Now, by producing lots of identical parts, production and repair is faster and cheaper. Known as the American system, using specialized machines to make parts is an idea that's catching on. From clocks to locks to firearms, we're seeing even more mass production. This is a revolution in industry indeed.